Hello, hello, Dr. Cliff, your movement recovery specialist, and welcome back to Breakfast at the Office. Day 20 already, and as promised, we're going to have a vegan yogurt today. Something very different. It comes from the Vega Company, and um, last month we had a bar made by them that really wasn't my favorite so I'm hoping that the yogurt is a little bit better here's what it looks like on the top it's raspberry flavored you can see here's what it looks like on the side and because it's plant-based we have a uh, fairly significant difference in the the numbers on the side here it cost me a dollar ninety nine and I got it at Whole Foods it's new, so apparently it's a little tough to find. Some places were sold out, I heard. So, depending on when you watch this, it, you may or may not be able to find it. But uh, apparently, people really wanted some vegan yogurt because it's selling out. Hopefully, that's because it tastes amazing. We'll find out in a minute. The uh, calories are 180, so a little bit higher than some of the other yogurts we've had. The fat is eight grams. Uh, it's because the, the main component to make the yogurt is uh, cashew milk. So, you know, if you're using a nut butter or a nut milk, your protein content's gonna be a little, or sorry, fat content's gonna be a little higher. Uh, carbohydrates, 18, but six of that is from fiber not something we've seen you know in the other ones except for the oikos triple zero and there's only seven grams of sugar so i'm not sure that only adds up to 13. i don't know where the other five are at they're in there somewhere and then 13 grams of protein you know i, I looked at a lot of these uh, non-dairy replacement type products and most of them you are lucky if you have more than three or four grams so this is probably the highest that I could find locally highest amount of protein in a non-dairy yogurt um, unfortunately they get that extra protein from pea protein powder which we know my history with that if you watched any of the bar uh, things I didn't enjoy it the most so hopefully in yogurt it tastes better there's also some uh, chicory root in here which I have a little bit of an allergy to so hopefully I can still breathe properly after uh, I eat this see see the extreme measures I go to for uh, tasting this yogurt for you ah it has a funny color Smells good. Smells like raspberries, but it looks kind of like mud. Hmm. Probably the pea protein has that kind of color because I've had uh, some protein powders that have pea protein in, and it usually has this dark color. <laughs> Let's see. It's a, it's a runny. Not very thick compared to any of the Greek or Icelandic here. See, it falls right off the spoon. I'm hopeful. Come on, vegan yogurt. We haven't had to throw any yogurt out yet, and we're on day 20. It's good. Sort of. All right, honestly, I don't like it. I'm going to, we're going to pause this video, come back in about 20 minutes. You don't have to sit around for 20 minutes. Magic of video editing. I will pause the video here. 
I'm gonna go put this in the freezer because I like things cold and a little more solid than this. So I'm thinking if I cool it down a whole lot, it might be a little bitter. All right, we're back. And now it's semi-solid and much colder. Let's see if this improves things at all. It's okay now. If you don't eat dairy. If you uh, don't mind pea protein, which apparently my body's not a huge fan of. Might be okay. But for me, eh, taste, I'm going to give this a two. It could be worse. But you probably have to try. I don't even taste the raspberry, honestly. Like, it tastes more like cherry to me than raspberry. I'm not sure. Definitely not my favorite. I have another vegan one in there. Uh, I forget the name. Arrow Hill, maybe. Something Hill, I think. It. I, I'm 90... 5% sure it's made with almond milk. Hopefully not pea protein too. Maybe it'll be better. I'll try at the end of the week maybe. I'm going to need a couple of days to recover from this. Definitely is better frozen. If I didn't have anything else and I was really hungry... If I froze this up solid, because I'm just eating the edges where it actually froze solid, like uh, almost like a frozen yogurt. It's eatable then. Edible. When it's just on its own. Oh, I need to get some coffee. Get that out of my mouth. Refrigerator temperature. I'm not a fan. Ugh. If you're new to this channel, usually the food is better than this. Consider subscribing. It's that red button down there in the corner. If you are already subscribed and you're missing some of the videos, consider hitting that little bell icon down there by the subscribe. And then YouTube will give you a notification when I post something new. So you don't miss anything. Tomorrow... I think we're going to have the sheep yogurt. And on Thursday, it's Thanksgiving. I may be filming from here, but usually it's one of the few days out of the year I don't work. But I'm still going to have a video for you. If I don't film it here, I'll film it either the night before or at home. And we're going to have a special pumpkin yogurt that I'm hopeful tastes just like pumpkin pie since it'll be Thanksgiving. Until then, remember, life is a strength sport, so get stronger and get living.